I want you to stay with me and in the next few minutes we are going to design this so right now let's just jump into it so quickly let's start from you know a default background then we delete this test over here after that we actually have to import our image so I'm going to tap on import over here and I'll pick the image I used photo room application to remove the background of it probably the video is showing at the top over there you can use it as well okay so i'm going to increase the size of the image a little bit and bring it down here after that i'll tap on a check mark and go to the relative position tool just to make sure i position it at the middle like this after that i'll go ahead and lock the layer so the next thing for me to do is to change the background color and i'm going to use a color related to black okay not black itself but like this okay in case you're looking for the color code let me just show you quickly the color code is 413 413b3f that is the color code you can equally use it okay so the next thing that we have to do after this is to tap on a check mark and go ahead and import a shape so the shape that we are going to use is this and we have to apply gradient effect to it so the gradient we are going to use is the first one over here i've actually applied it so let me tap on a plus sign and you're gonna see it so here is black and here is ash okay so basically that is it you can equally use a different gradient if you want okay so yeah that is it after this you tap on a check mark and you send this particular shape to the back of the person's image so you tap on to back and this is how it's going to appear so after this you are pretty much done the next thing for you to do is to enter the test thank you thank you thank you right so let's do that quickly i'm going to enter the test thank you over here make it capitalized and of course i'm going to use a font called montserrat black so i'll just go ahead and pick it up quickly over here yes it's it's right here and i'm going to increase the size a little bit I think okay let's try 65 yeah 65 should be good for me over here and of course i have to position it at the middle like this and push it down a little bit okay i think this is okay so after this i have to open up the grid tool over here once i open it i'll tap on this certain icon then push the other lines away i need the only line at the middle to be there okay so the only line at the middle that's what i need and after this i have to tap on this back and tap on the magnetic icon over here like this so once this is activated if i move this the red line will indicate that this test is in the middle okay so once i have it over here like this i'll just leave it there so the next thing for me to do is to make a duplicate of this thank you test so i'll tap on copy and after that i'll go to color and make it transparent like this by selecting this over here uh, let me just pick it up quickly and let's go to color let me show you that quickly so this is what you'll be having okay you pick this over here and it will turn like this right so after that you tap on a check mark and move down to stroke so you enable the stroke and you make it one then you give it color white after that you tap on the check mark go ahead and reduce the opacity of it so you reduce the opacity a little bit so you are actually kind of okay with it so what this grid tool we activated at the middle here is going to help you to do is to make sure what this test is in alignment with the one at the top so after this we are just going to make a duplicate of this severally so we have it over here like this duplicate bring it down duplicate you bring it down duplicate you bring it down like this so it's just a repetition of what we've done already okay so at this point you could see that the test is on top of the person's image so what we're going to do is head over straight to our layers select the layer then that's the person's image come to this hexagonal tool over here then tap on to front good so this is what we'll be having at this point you can take off the grid tool now if you have a logo that you want to use probably you can just put the logo at the top so 
let's say I'm going to put logo here all right and I'm going to reduce the size of it this is just something that I'm actually teaching you so that you can apply it in any other design that you want to design okay so you put it at the middle like this probably bring it down a little bit or like this okay so at this point maybe you want to add some effects like a dotted line okay so i probably have some dotted line copied over here like this okay so you can just push it over there okay and reduce the size of it so once you are kind of satisfied with everything then you are okay to go so quickly i'll push it at one side of this work right away so i'm going to rotate it this way and bring it down here so probably i have to increase the size of it a little bit so that it can fit perfectly over here and what i'm going to do is i'm going to add extra you know copy to it so i think this should be fine now okay and the next thing that we have to do is actually reduce the spacing between them that's the line spacing like this and i think this should be fine negative 10 should be fine all right so what i'm going to do is to push it beneath you know the layered test over here right so i'm just going to tap on to back over here just to send it to the back like this okay so basically this is what we'll be having and after this you enter the person's name so i'm going to use one imaginary name over here like vincent eugene all right vincent eugene that's let's say that's the name of the person and i'm going to use a font like photography signature all these fonts that i'm using they are part of my package that i gave away the font package about 4000 plus fonts you can literally go ahead and download them the link is in the video description okay so at this point we are pretty much done with everything you can just go ahead and save your work but before you go if you've actually learned something from this video don't forget to hit that like button on the video and also subscribe if you are new to this channel and of course this is Goswe here from serene ads and i'm going to see you in my next video bless up Thank you.